Uh, my name is Brian David Stanek. I was born in Euless, Texas, and I'm a defender, utility defender, center back, outside back, wherever you want me to play. I got you. I ordered tacos de pollo. Simple, can't go wrong, protein. Simple, taco watches is good though, I love taco watches. Over there they have three levels. I chose the lowest level. The lowest <laughs> not level. the spiciest, no. <laughs> I'm part Mexican, so I can't go all the way, all the way spicy. So I just rolled with this. Most definitely going to California. Taking the whole team and going to LA to play out there was, yeah, we went to Colorado as well, but I think LA is another level, like catching a plane, staying in a hotel as a team, going out as a team. Just the whole memory of that whole trip, playing the national championship, you know. To me, Fort Worth, yeah, everybody knows, you know, you know, St. Vincent Fort Worth. Um, but over the, I've been a part of it for all three seasons, and from the first season to now, you can definitely see an increase in people who take notice and people who come watch consistently. As far as young kids from like playing in indoor areas when we go play indoor to them noticing me to now just, you know, when we go to game, we played last season in the, in the the playoffs when we played Oklahoma at uh, the other stadium and we had a bunch of people and that was just like when we walked out and I saw everybody there I was like wow it's legit it's cool <laughs> oh man <laughs> the funniest on our team there's so many characters on the team I think the, the main I can't even tell you one guy, man, because you know what, what comes to mind, I think of Chiva, just the jokes there, I think of Eddie, the, Eddie, the keeper, he's funny, I just think of everybody in their own way, digs and, and takes shots at everybody, so I think as overall, I think pretty much everybody is a comedian in their own way on our team. Definitely Brazil. I would want to go to Brazil. Just that the love for soccer down in Brazil, whether it's beach soccer, futsal, um, volleyball, stock, like soccer. I wouldn't care what stadium I could play in, but I actually wanted to go and, and, and actually witness a game there, down there. Just for the love and the intensity of the game that everybody has, I would love to do. I would love to play futsal in a favela if I could in the hood. That'd be so cool too. It's on my bucket list. I'm definitely gonna try that out. Tigres. My family's from Monterrey, so my mom was born in Monterrey, Mexico. Um, so Rayados and Tigres is in our family. And when you grow up in Monterrey, you either choose which one. But I guess I could say I'm a flip flopper because at first it was just by by relation, like my uncles be like, play the Rayado, so I'd be like, okay, play the Rayado. But over time, I got older just seeing like the success of Tigres with the players that they bring in and like the program and the bringing Vignac from France and having everybody play for him. Definitely Tigres. Genuine, honest, hardworking, reliable, fun, adventurous, Loving individual. Norteñas. Oh, <laughs> man. If, um, if you started, if you knew about us in the very beginning, when we very first started, you know, 10 years ago, we've accomplished so many things from our first season to now going from goals from you know, winning conference championships to national championships. And this has always been something that's in, in the back of our minds, playing an open cup. And I feel like it's built up to where we've achieved other things, but to truly take the next step and where we want to grow as a program to play an open cup, I think is on the level of a championship already, just to represent the name Eagles and to carry it forward in the Open Cup and, and play other teams from the USL, from the 
you know, potentially when we get later on, hopefully from the MLS, you know, if some team wants to play us, we make it that far.